such a night as this. You were worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all the glory. Let's just raise up our voices. Let's raise up our voices. And worship him tonight. There is none like you, precious Lord. There is none like you, Master. There is none like you, Father. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all glory. I honor you tonight. I lift you up, Lord Jesus. I thank you for such a time as this. You are worthy of all praise. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Master. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Just say something. Adore him tonight. Show him that you love him. Show him that you revere him. Praise him. Glorify him. Picture yourself in the presence of the King. Picture yourself in the presence of the Lord of Lords. Picture yourself in the presence of the Lord of Hosts. Offer him your humble adorations. Offer him your salutations. We have not just come to ask. We have come to dialogue. He has said in his word, come let us reason together. We are going to have a dialogue with him. And when you come to dialogue with the one you love, you do not begin with requests. You begin with praises. You say how beautiful you are. How wonderful you are. How gorgeous you are. How inspiring you are. There is none like you. We praise you, Master. We praise you, Father. We praise you, Jesus. Just offer him your adoration. If he has done something of let, let him know that he has done it. Lord, I praise you. You have taken me out of the marriage. You have put me back on the road to stay. You have delivered me from the evil one. You have set me free from the devourer. You have made me escape the pit of hell you have not let me go down into show because in show no one can praise you come on just raise your voice and sell him something show him you honor him show him you thank him show him you respect him tell him what he means to you Father, in you I live and have and move and have my very being. Where would I be if it wasn't for you? Raise your voice tonight. He is worthy of all the praise. He is worthy of all the honor. He is worthy of all the glory. We lift up our voices and offer our humble adoration. There is like you must you are worthy of all praise you are worthy of the glory we love you Lord Jesus we love you Master we thank you Holy Spirit we thank you Lord of hosts oh thank you Jesus we love you Lord hallelujah Amen. I want to welcome all of you in a special way to our Friday overnight service. Hallelujah. Amen. We are blessed and honored to be able to come to you tonight. And we want you to know that after tonight you will never be the same. We have a power packed night. 
Nyuvenyo. A night of intercession. A chiro echo kwega A night of prayer. A chiro echo kusaba. A night of tapping into the anointing of God. A chire choku ingira mafuta gakatonda. A night of miracle signs and wonders as the servant of God comes in. A chiro echa via magero wono nebia wuni sango mudu wakatonda wajja. A night of manifestation of the glory of God in our lives. A chire choku wale sechetu wachakatonda mbura mwa fe. You are highly welcome we tonight. Tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. And may your spirit be expectant. I pray that you will cast out anything that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. That your spirit will be open to receive. That you will be ready to receive the oracles of God. That you will be ready to receive the anointing of God. That you will be ready to break into you trances of prayer. Because tonight is the night that the Lord has chosen. I have been duly informed that the Jessica Kanja Facebook page can be accessed. Jessica Kanja Facebook Page. The Robert Kayanja Facebook page can be accessed. Also, but like the cool Robert Kayanja Facebook page. The Jessica Kayanja YouTube can be accessed. Also, but like the cool Jessica Kayanja YouTube. We are also on Azam TV. Kwa Azam TV kwe tuling. We are also on Star Times. Neku Star Times kwe tuling. We are also on Zuku. Kuzuku na kwe tuling. We are on DSTV. Ku DSTV kwe tuling. We are on free to air. Ne free to air kwe tuling. You can access us on all those stations. O sobolo tulabila kumi kutwe jojo na jetu oge deko. So in case someone is lost on the airwaves. Waba wa mtu ye na abu zenga tamanyi wa tulabila. Just tell them. Nibayambo bagambe. Where to tune in. Wawa sobolo kuteke na kona tulaba. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Father, one more time, I present myself as a vessel. Willing to be used of you. I pray that if there be anything in me, that is more of me that I will decrease even as you increase in me. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that as your word goes forth tonight the power of God will move in every household in every living room in every bedroom in every workplace, in every car, that the Spirit of God will prove that He is mobile, that He will touch the hearts of men wherever they are. And I decree and declare that there will be uterances in the spirit. The spirit of the Lord intercede for us as the greatest intercessor that you are. Anoint my tongue like the pen of a ready writer for clarity of speech so that no one will leave the same way they came in the mind mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome all of you who are watching us via all the TV stations and all our social media outlets. I want to especially welcome those on, my, on the top chat. Chat. I can see you, Jake. I can see you, Chiemba. I can see you, Margaret Keys, Rose, uh, Rick's Rich, Constance Coney, Favor. I, I can see all of you, and it's a full house, and I'm blessed and honored. Mm -hmm. to have have you. Amen. To Gume, I can see you, Beatty. I can see you, Claire. I can see you, uh, Constance. I can see you, Asa Jones. I can see you, Connie. I can see you. 
precious. I can see you. I, I am looking for my regulars. Where is Flavia Knight? I can see you, Nabukera Masti. I can see you, Josh. It's wonderful to have all of you. Hallelujah. I can see you, Irene. It's wonderful to see all of you tonight. In the name of Jesus. You have become family. You have become part of me. I can see you, Margaret Mingi. Amen. And Helen Nakaziva, I can see all of you. Hallelujah. Zachariah chapter 2 verse 5 has been our theme in this season. Zachariah bidi tanu gwe guba de echandi kwa cha fechikuru mbisera vino. I will be a fire. Na vera bugwe eyomorido. A wall of fire. Surrounding her. And I will be the glory. In her midst. I will be a wall of fire. Surrounding her. And I will be her glory. In her midst. I want to read as our, as our script for tonight. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8 See I have given you this land Go in and take possession of the land the Lord swore He would give to your fathers To Abraham Abraham, Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jacob, to their descendants, after them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to read one more script. Psalm 97 verse 3 says, Fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his force. Psalm 97 verse 3. Allow us me to concentrate tonight on the first part of Psalm 97 verse 3 which says fire spreads. I want you to know that fire is not stationary. Fire has never been stationary. And if it is stationary, then it is not a fire. Given the right conditions, which is the wind and maybe a sloppy terrain, Fire can even outrun a human sprinter. Fire has gotten to the point where fire can run at 80 kilometers an hour. The fire will move. The fire will spread. It doesn't matter whether you want it to spread or not. The fire, if not tampered with, will spread. The fire has the capacity to advance. The fire has mobile potential. The fire will start in one place. And in a very short time, the fire will be in another place. You cannot control the fire. You cannot hold the fire. You cannot stop the fire. Tonight, I want to speak to you. Our God says that He has built a wall of fire around you, He has surrounded you with a wall of fire. And yet the word of God in Psalm 97 verse 3 says mm -hmm. the fire spreads ahead of us. The fire which is the wall around it is spreading. So there is no way that you are remaining stationary. You will have to move just as the fire moves. You will have to go from one point to another. Just as the fire goes from one point to 
source of you who are watching from the diaspora, you have more experience with fires. You know about wildfires. You know about bushfires. You know about the fire that is started from a very small thing in the forest or in a bush and that fire will spread. You saw the fires in California recently. You saw the fires in Australia recently moving from the zones of no life and going ahead to consume homes, to consume houses, to consume civilization. The fires started in the bush. The fires started in the vegetation. The fires started in the trees. The fires may have started in a place that was rural and unoccupied. But the fire moved on and began to take over territory until the fire became a formidable force. I remember that in the time I was in California preaching at my dear spiritual children's church I saw what I had never seen before looking at the news the fire had become a formidable enemy he was, the fire was moving consuming homes consuming homesteads people were being told to evacuate places that they had been for a long time people were being told to evacuate places that they had taken up for a long time because the fire is not stationary. The fire will move. The fire of the Holy Spirit. When we first see him in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 he describes him as a moving spirit. He says and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. The spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. The first time we see the fire of the Holy Spirit. The first time we see the power of God. We see him moving on the face of the water. Tonight I decree and declare that if the fire around you is moving it means that you are moving as well. The fire around you has the ability to move. It means that you can not stay in the same place. And therefore tonight, as the fire moves, we decree and declare that we are moving with the fire. God is taking us from glory to glory. He is listing, lifting us from the dust to sit with princes. The days of remaining at the same level are over right now. We are living in the days of the fire. We are living in the final days. The fire of the Holy Spirit has been poured down to each and every individual who will accept him. And therefore mobility has come into our homes. Mobility has come into our businesses. businesses Mobility has come into our marriages. Mobility has come into our health. Our God moves us from glory to glory. When you are filled with the spirit of God, you cannot stay in the same place because he is a moving spirit. Tonight I have come to decree and declare that as the fire moves you too will move 
the muscle. As the wall around you moves, you too will move. It doesn't matter who said you would never get married. It doesn't matter who said you would never build. It doesn't matter who said you would never be healed. It doesn't matter who said you would always live in bondage. I decree and declare tonight a moving fire, the moving power of God, the moving of the Spirit of God. You cannot be contained for every place that you have been contained. Declare the fire. The Bible says the fire in Psalms 97 verse 3 the fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his force everywhere that has held you in one place speak the fire right now may the fire spread and burn those walls may the fire spread and burn that gate may the fire spread and burn that door may the fire spread and burn that witchcraft everything that has kept you captive in one place. I decree and declare the fire of God tonight is spreading in the mighty name of Jesus. It's burning up all your force. Who are your force? Whatever stands as an obstacle to the movement to your destiny. Whatever stands as an obstacle to the movement from one level to another. Whatever stands as an obstacle to the movement from point A to point Z. The fire is spreading. The fire is spreading. Declare the fire. You have been on that job for too long. The Lord says to the children of Israel. Go on and take possession of the land that I gave to your forefathers. Go on and take possession of it. Tonight you have been on that job for too long and you have never got a promotion. You are still the same person from beginning of year to end. The fire, may the fire spread ahead of you to burn every obstacle that causes you from moving up the career ladder. May the fire go ahead of you and burn every obstacle that stands between you and your marriage. You cannot be in that place every single year. You cannot be in that place every decade. The fire is spreading. The spirit of God is a moving spirit. Even in the beginning when nothing was moving, he was still moving over the face of the earth. He was the first one to move in the history of life. You cannot cause the, the, the fire to stop. The fire will move. Come on, someone decree and declare tonight that the fire is causing me to move. I cannot stay in the same place. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Jesus says but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in 
Jerusalem, Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and, Samaria, and now, the ends of the earth. Meaning when the Holy Spirit comes up upon you, you will receive power and you will not be able to remain in one place. He says you shall receive power and you will be witnesses to me in Jerusalem in Judea in Samaria oh hallelujah Amen. you will go to the ends of the earth because of the power of the Holy Spirit because he is a mobile spirit I don't know what has kept you in in check. I don't know what has kept your product in check. But I want you to know that once the Spirit of God has sent, there, there is a mobility. There is a moving from one place to another. There is a changing of location. You can never be the same person. The Holy Spirit will change you. The Holy Spirit will lift you. The Holy Spirit will take you from one place to another. I see a moving in the Spirit. People are moving. Those who were behind are coming to the front. When the Spirit of God fell upon Joshua, God said to Moses, There is a a man who is filled with the spirit of leadership lay hands on him and Joshua moved from the back of the congregation to the front there is a moving tonight the fire is not stationary when he surrounds you you must move there are people who are moving from the back to the front David when the fire of God fell upon him. He moved from being a shepherd boy and went to the palace. You cannot stay in one place. Whatever was containing you tonight has declared himself a four. And nine, Psalm 97 verse 3 says, The fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his faults. The fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his faults. He is burning in the name of Jesus. The fire is moving at topmost speed. You are going to move as well because that fire fire surrounds you and you are moving with him. The spirit of God fell upon Bezalel and Aholiab in the building of the temple and gave them wisdom and knowledge and they were called to the front to take care of specific duties when the power of God surrounds you you cannot stay in one place somebody speak the fire tonight to everything standing in your the word we have read says to us the fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his force oh I don't care how far away the fall is they could have planted that get so far away they could have planted that get in on the borders of a certain nation. And you have tried so hard to get into that nation. And you have failed. But where the power of God is, there is a movement. Oh, send the fire to burn that evil get that acts as an obstacle to your advancement that acts as an obstacle to your going ahead 
the fire moves. The fire moves tonight. In the name of Jesus. James chapter 3 verse 5 says. A great forest. Is set on fire. By a small spark. A great forest. Is set on fire. By a small spark. Do you know? That you are watching me tonight. And you look at yourself. And you feel that you are too small to take the nation. You are too small to take territory. You are too small to move ahead. You are too small to move on. But James 3.5 says a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. I have seen the bush fires. I have seen the way they progress. I have seen the way they, they start as something small and take up very big territory. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 10 says Zachariah Do not despise these small beginnings I want you to know That you can never despise Someone who is surrounded by a fire Because they will start with a very small spark they may burn just one leaf. But before you know it, the whole forest will be taken. Oh, somebody, I want you to begin to pray. They may be looking at you right now. And all you have is a small rented room. But before they know it, wherever you are right now, you will be taken in the name of Jesus will be consumed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I remember how we came onto this ground at first the first purchase was the place where the church stands. But before we knew it there was a, a consuming before we knew it there was a taking of territory before we knew it. Miracle Center Cathedral is now seated on 25 acres. I decree and declare do not despise these days of small beginnings. Right now what you see is a spark. But I want you to know that in no time you will have taken a forest. And after the forest, you will take a town. And after the town, you will take a village. And after the village, you will take a nation. You don't know how the fire spreads, but he begins with a spark. Somebody told me that most of these bush fires are started by people who smoke they throw one tiny cigarette in a whole forest and it begins by burning a dry leaf and then it moves on do not despise the days of your small beginnings it is easy to get greedy it is easy to get ambitious. It is easy to give up and say, My miracle is taking.
waiting too long. But don't underestimate the fire. The fire has to begin on something small. There is nothing as small as a matchbox. But do you know that a matchbox can set an entire city alight? I pity the person who laughed at you. I pity the person who despised you. A small spark according to James chapter 3 verse 5 will light up a great forest. A small spark according to James chapter 3 verse 5 will move bands of vegetation. I want you to know that it's not about where you start. It is about where you are going. David may have started in the, in, among his father's sheep. But that was just a spark. Oh, after the Holy Spirit was poured, the oil, the anointing oil was poured on him. He began to move. He began to take territory. I decree and declare I'm moving tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. You will move. You will move. You will move. You will move. You are looking at yourself and you are saying when will it happen? There is already a spark there is already a spark he says there is already a wall of fire around you that is that spark but that fire according to Psalm 97 verse 3 will move you will not remain in one place I speak movement to my children tonight I speak movement to my house household tonight. May the spark become an international fire. May that spark become a global fire. May that spark become a fire in this universe. May that spark I speak movement to Morocco Center Cathedral tonight. May that spark become a movement. May that spark transcend borders. May that spark transcend continents. May that spark transcend regions. May that spark come on somebody begin to declare it right now. May that spark transcend Send every impediment that has been put in its way in the name of Jesus. You will move by the power of God. You will move by the anointing of God. The fire will not be stopped. The fire will not be hold. You may have a spark right now but it is becoming a forest fire. Oh, may that spark become a forest fire in your place of work. May that spark become a forest fire in your relationship. May that spark become a forest fire in your marriage. May that spark become a forest fire. Come on, somebody in your business. May that spark become a forest fire. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Movement. Movement. The power of God. The Holy Spirit is a mobile spirit. He was moving in the beginning on the face of the earth. 
There is no witch that can stop him. There is no diviner that can stop him. There is no shrines that can hold him. It is him who moved in the beginning. Forever he will move. He was never created to be, more, to be stationary. The fire was created to move. The fire was created to move in the early church in the book of Acts they could not even call meetings there there was a lot of hostility and persecution but the fire still moved people's lives were changing the church was growing even without meeting because the apostles went from door to door Jesus had said to them you will receive power when that your spirit when the spirit has come upon you and you will be witnesses in Judea in Jerusalem in Samaria in the rest of the world who told you that the gospel could be halted. He cannot be halted. The fire of the Holy Spirit is going on. Even without meeting, the fire of God cannot be halted. The fire of God cannot be halted. Even right now, he is moving. Distance is never a barrier. Therefore, lift up your hands. Receive the fire of God to move right now. Receive the fire of God to break boundaries right now. Receive the fire of God to move from one level to another. Who told you that in this season the fire would not move? The fire of God is moving. The fire of God is moving. Hallelujah. Amen. He cannot be contained. Now in Psalm 97 verse 3 says, Fire will spread ahead of him. And burns up all his force. Oh, come on somebody. Amen. Decree and declare it tonight. May the fire of God spread ahead of him. May he consume your force in the mighty name of Jesus. Every fall, every wall, every lack, every obstacle that stands between you and the movement forward will be consumed in the name of Jesus. When the Spirit of God begins, Came, came upon Saul. He was moved from looking for his father's donkeys to, become, to becoming a king. You cannot contain the fire. You may have been the slowest person. You may not have been the appropriate person. Saul was not on the list of the appropriate. He was on the list of those who were fired up. Hallelujah. He was on the list of those who were fired up. Yes. yes. He was not on the qualified. He was on the fired up. David was not on the list of the qualified. But he was on the list of those who were fired up. Joshua was not even a Levite. But he was on the list of the fired up. Because, because the Holy Spirit came upon them. Because the Holy Spirit came upon them. You cannot have the Holy Spirit on you. And stay in one place. Tonight, if you do feel unqualified, I want to welcome you to the company of those who are fired 
get up. Because the fire will qualify you. And it will qualify you on the road. You will begin to move. And all of a sudden you will realize that you are ready for your next destination. Some of us spend too long getting ready. But the fire is moving right now. Touching you. There is a movement in the spirit. You will not stay in the same place. The spark is becoming a forest. You are taking that region. Arise and go ahead. And take the land. That God promised to your forefathers. God said to this. God said this. When, when he said this to the children of Israel. When they were stuck on Mount Horeb. He said arise. Go. Mugende. There is still territory to conquer. Once the power of God is on you, you cannot stay in one place. The fire that surrounds you is spreading tonight. It's consuming your force. You will move forward in the name of Jesus. You will not stay in one place. May his glory be made evident tonight. May his power be seen in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Master. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You are worthy of honor. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of glory. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We glorify you. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Do not despise the spark that you see. It is the beginning of the burning of a great forest. The spark is already here. There is already a wall of fire around and Tonight we decree and declare that it is spreading. You are taking territory. You are moving from one level to another. God promotes you tonight. God lifts you up tonight. To everything in your life that was not moving, it was at a halt. Shout the fire. Decree and declare the wall of fire. May that wall of fire spread ahead of you. Burn everything in the way that causes you to stay in one place. You cannot stay in that place. You are moving. The spirit of God moved in the beginning. In the book of Genesis 1 verse 2. He moved over the face of the waters. As the fire moves to the we are going to speak the fire over everything that has held us captive. And as Brother Dennis comes on to sing again about the wall of fire, shout the fire to every impediment, to every obstacle, to every wall to everything that stands in the way of your movement. I leave you Psalms 97 verse 3. May the fire spread ahead of you and burn everything.
with you that stands in your way. In the name of Jesus.